don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. And all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? <laughs> Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. 
Fire at will! Spread out! They're coming from the rear! I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. <laughs> I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County.
You're done. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery. So I decided to get sneaky. You're dead. Turkey shoot from up there. These shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. <laughs> Friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Strong aiming, you idiots! Truth be told, Stand things weren't much better behind the house. Watch your play! Just made the ones that were left twice as fast. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Like that, you I was inside, dead, none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. 
than a rat in a trap. And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baudry. How about that? Huh, you like? Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Where the hell Garrett get to? He's When Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shot Billy. Get to the other side.
clear, even to Billy. But maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a Gatlin, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. <laughs> Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing me. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, man. Now, where was I? So you were heading for the barn. Stables within my reach. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. into a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. I stepped inside and <laughs> last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. <laughs> 